<sighs> Tools of the trade. Uh, blue pencil. Lighter blue pencil. Brush pens, they're both out of ink right now. Ballpoint pen. I really, really don't care for. Uh, I really don't care that much for it. Uh, mechanical pencil that I've had for like about 12 years. It's got very, 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 very fine lead in there. So it almost looks invisible. These two are thicker uh, micron pens. Stylus. Gonna use it for later. My tablet. Oh, by the way, my uh, monitor's background is, of course, uh, Ace. The Bat Hound. And the music is, of course. Oops. Such a good song. No, 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 Infinity. <laughs> anyway, original sketch designs are uh, concept work. It's right here. Kind of a relaxed alligator. Well, this one's a crocodile. That one's an alligator. Very, very relaxed. The baboon comes in last. Really, really rough sketches. Some sexy ladies, because I know everybody loves them. A Zatanna piece that I've been uh, kicking around for a while. I'll make, uh, I'll finish it up. It's something for a larger collaboration piece. Well, not a collaboration piece, but something larger. Yeah, they kind of have a nice shape to them. All right. Some more sketches. Big Boss. Sketches of people. Vamp. Vamped out. Kind of ride in body build. Just went just with just the body. Sexy lady, I'm gonna use that for later. Uh, the alligator from the Hanna Barbera cartoon. I forgot which cartoon it was. Wally Gator, I think. Mm, kind of rough sketches. Little rabbit. But yeah, keep some sketches on me. I work. You can see the lady. 
I need to stylize her a bit more next time. Kind of like painting nice realistic renditions. Propping it up on a glass of water. scene. Music's so nice. I already drew a pudgy man before, and whenever I need inspiration on larger men, I usually load up the Jungle Book. Baloo always inspires me. This guy's a little bit shorter, so he might be Danny DeVito-ish. Hard to see. <laughs> Sexy sounds. Oh, it hurts my legs doing this. like a jolly spring to him. The idea is an obvious homage to uh, the Chuck Jones uh, sheepdog and uh, wolf cartoon. Morning Ralph, morning Sam. It's kind of easier with a ballpoint pen because you're kind of sketching it. You don't feel like a kind of working it for a while. There's a really good uh, Al Hirschfeld, Al, Sch Al Hirschfeld uh, video on YouTube, watching him uh, work on his uh, art, and he etches it little by little, so you don't have to have like one dynamic per stroke. I don't think you really need that that much. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of concentration. The guys who can do it are the best. So I uh, really admire them, but you really don't have to. In fact, you don't really have to do anything. You just do what you do really, really well. been what I've uh, learned throughout life. Sorry, I can't really tell. He's got like a cute smaller nose because he's a, he's an alligator. I've designed more vicious looking alligators before and I'll use them uh, later, maybe soon. The best thing about doing this technique is later I can go into Photoshop and fix up any line that looks really bad. but. I've found that erasing really kills the personality, so any happy mistake is a good mistake. Well, any mistake is 
happy mistake is just something you say to yourself to like to make you feel better. Yeah, this is a great soundtrack to work to. You know, alligators have like very uh, smaller eyes. I might scrap this, I don't know yet. I just want to see how this uh, does the sound. I keep forgetting which one. Money or G. <laughs> Great. Love this movie. Uh, if you've never seen it, uh, Danger Diabolique. Italian film. Highly recommend it. I keep it beside me for inspiration. Nothing but orgies, killing, chase scenes, lots and lots and lots and lots of sex appeal. Directed by uh, Mario Baba, the great horror director. Beautiful stylized film. Best inspiration. Music, of course, by the Inigno Morricone. Might be mispronouncing his name. I decided to go back into this style because recently I uh, looked back at some of my older watercoloring looking techniques and I love the walrus and the carpenter piece that I did uh, a few years back. So that's a big inspiration and I'm going to try to go for that style. That's one of my main goals. So everything's kind of sketchy on the pen side, it's intentional. You'll probably erase the